Have you ever wondered what makes lions so powerful, so fierce, and so iconic? The king of the jungle. Majestic, terrifying, and a symbol of strength. But what exactly is it about lions that make them such incredible creatures? The truth is, their biology is far more complex and fascinating than you could ever imagine. In this video we're going to dive deep into the insane biology of lions, exploring their anatomy, instincts, social structure, and what makes them some of the most efficient predators on the planet. So grab your seat and prepare to be amazed by the mind-blowing biology of the lion. Section 1. Lion Anatomy, More Than Just Strength When you think of a lion you probably picture a massive, muscular animal, right? Well you'd be right but let's break down what exactly is happening under all that fur. Lions are built for speed, power, and endurance. The first thing that stands out is their muscular build. They have a broad chest and strong limbs, giving them the physical power to bring down prey that's often several times their size. But here's the kicker. Lions are not just strong they're also incredibly agile for their size. Their front legs are exceptionally powerful, while their hind legs are designed for explosive bursts of speed. This combination allows them to sprint at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour for short distances, perfect for ambushing prey. But let's not forget their massive jaws and sharp teeth. Lions have a bite force that can reach up to 650 psi, pounds per square inch. That's enough power to crush the bones of their prey with ease. Their teeth are designed not just for tearing, but also for holding on to their catch, making sure they don't let go once they've locked on. Lions also have large paws that are equipped with sharp retractable claws. These claws are like nature's built-in grappling hooks. Once a lion has its claws embedded in the flesh of its prey, it's unlikely the prey will escape. These claws are essential for keeping their hold, ensuring the kill is made. Their skin is tough and thick especially around the neck area. This is why the male lion's mane is so important. It provides an extra layer of protection during fights. The mane doesn't just look impressive. It serves as armor against powerful strikes from other lions or even prey they might be wrestling with. But it's not just about strength. Lions also have incredible sensory abilities. Their vision is built for hunting at night. Lions have night vision that's six times more powerful than humans, allowing them to hunt in the dark when many other predators are at a disadvantage. Their eyes have a higher density of rod cells, which are responsible for low-light vision. This makes them superior hunters during dawn or dusk when prey is most active. And then there's the mane, the signature feature of the male lion. Not just for show, this thick golden mane serves a crucial purpose. It protects their neck during fights with other males and makes them appear larger and more intimidating. Essentially a natural suit of armor. A thick mane is also a sign of good health and fitness, which can attract potential mates. Lions with fuller, darker manes are often seen as more dominant and more likely to take charge of a pride. Lions' biological adaptations make them one of the most efficient predators in the animal kingdom. Their sheer physical power combined with sensory enhancements places them at the top of the food chain in their natural habitat. Section 2. The Social Structure Lions aren't just solitary hunters. Lions are one of the few big cats that live in groups or what we call prides. But unlike other predators that work alone, lions thrive in social settings. Their social structure is an essential part of what makes them successful in the wild. A typical pride consists of anywhere from 3 to 30 lions, and it's made up of related females, their offspring, and a few dominant males. But what's truly fascinating is how the roles are divided. Female lions, or lionesses, are the primary hunters of the group. They coordinate in groups to stalk, chase, and ambush their prey. Their teamwork and communication are crucial. Unlike some solo predators, lions can rely on each other to bring down large prey. In fact, studies have shown that lionesses coordinate their hunting efforts with a high level of precision. They work in groups to isolate their prey, often surrounding the animals and pushing them toward a designated killing zone. Their ability to communicate through subtle body movements and sounds allows them to stay in sync throughout the entire process. While each lioness is skilled in hunting, working together ensures a higher chance of success. They know that one lion alone can't tackle the massive prey like buffalo or giraffes. Only as a team can they overpower these animals. But here's a twist. While lionesses do most of the hunting, it's not always as straightforward as it seems. In fact, lions use a division of labor that's almost strategic. The lionesses will often scout the area, tracking and ambushing smaller animals to weaken them, while the males, who are larger and more powerful, play a role in defending the pride's territory. Males who are often seen as the pride's guardians have a much different job. They may help in the hunt on occasion, but their primary responsibility is to defend the pride from rival males and other threats. A male lion's size, strength and fierce roar often deter predators from challenging the pride. A large male lion is a symbol of power, and other animals instinctively recognize that. And let's talk about the alpha males. Males often take on the role of defending the pride from outside threats. But they also face one of the most brutal aspects of lion life, competition with other males for dominance. When a new male enters the pride, it's not unusual for him to fight the resident males for control. The winner will take over the pride but not without consequences. Often, the new male will kill the offspring of the previous male to ensure his own genes are passed down. This process is known as infanticide and it may sound brutal, but it's actually a strategy to ensure the male's genes have the best chance of survival. A lioness won't go into heat while nursing her cubs, so by eliminating the previous male's offspring, the new male ensures that the females will soon be receptive to mating again. Section 3. Hunting Strategies – The Art of the Kill Lions are strategic hunters. In fact hunting is not just about raw power, but a blend of teamwork, patience and precision. 
A typical hunt involves a carefully coordinated strategy, particularly when going after large herbivores like zebras, buffaloes, or antelopes. Lionesses will often position themselves downwind of the prey to avoid detection, using the tall grass as cover. They work as a unit to slowly close the distance, getting as close as possible before launching a coordinated attack. But here's the crazy part. Lions don't always succeed on the first try. In fact, their success rate in a hunt can be as low as 1 in 5 attempts. That's right. Despite all their power and strategy the failure rate is high. However when they do succeed the payoff is huge. A single successful hunt can feed the entire pride for days. Once the prey is down it's all about sharing. The males typically eat first followed by the females with the cubs taking what's left. It's a tough system but it works for the pride's survival. If the pride is successful enough in its hunting, it can ensure that even the youngest and weakest lions get the nutrition they need to survive. Interestingly lions often hunt at night, using their heightened night vision. While some predators prefer dawn and dusk, lions excel in the cooler, darker hours of the night. Their ability to ambush prey that might not even know they are being stalked is a testament to their evolution as apex predators. Section 4. Communication. The roar of a lion. Now let's talk about one of the most iconic features of the lion. Its roar. It's not just a sound, it's a powerful tool in the lion's arsenal. A lion's roar can be heard from 5 miles away. But what's behind that thunderous roar? Well it's actually a communication tool. Lions roar to establish their territory, warn other predators and communicate with their pride members. It's a sign of dominance, an unspoken message to anyone in the area. This is our land and we rule it. But it's not just about territory. Roaring is also used by male lions to announce their presence to potential rivals. It's a bold declaration. I'm here and I'm strong enough to defend my pride. What's even more amazing is the way a lion's anatomy helps it produce this powerful sound. Lions have a larger larynx and a special vocal fold structure that allows them to produce such deep, resonant roars. It's the perfect weapon for establishing their authority and intimidating anyone who dares challenge them. The vibrations produced by their roar can travel long distances, helping to establish their dominance even from far away. Section 5. Cubs in the Circle of Life Every lion's journey begins as a cub. But life as a cub is no easy task. The first few months are critical as lions face numerous dangers. Predators like hyenas and leopards pose a constant threat. And sometimes, even the lion pride itself may not always welcome new cubs with open arms. Female lions typically give birth to two to four cubs, but not all will survive. Cubs are born blind and helpless, relying entirely on their mother for care and protection. During the early stages, lionesses keep their cubs hidden from the rest of the pride to protect them from danger. As the cubs grow they begin to explore their world, learning to interact with the other members of the pride. They are incredibly playful and curious, constantly learning through mimicry. Watching their mothers and older siblings hunt, protect, and lead gives them the skills they'll need to survive when they are older. But the most important lessons happen as they approach the age of two. By this time, male cubs are often driven out of the pride. They are forced to roam alone or try to form their own prides, while the females tend to stay within the pride they were born into. The males are learning how to survive on their own, often facing hunger, danger and even fights with other males for dominance. Section 6. Conservation. The struggle for survival. Unfortunately lions face a growing threat in the wild. Due to habitat loss, human wildlife conflict and poaching, their populations are in decline. In some areas, lions have disappeared altogether and their numbers are rapidly diminishing. Conservation efforts are underway to protect these majestic creatures, but it's an uphill battle. Protecting lions requires not only saving their habitats but also understanding their behavior, needs, and the challenges they face in an increasingly human-dominated world. As much as we admire them lions like all wildlife, need our help to ensure their survival for generations to come. So there you have it, the insane biology of lions. From their raw power and agility to their complex social structure and communication methods, lions truly are one of nature's most fascinating creatures. Their biology is a testament to evolution's brilliance in shaping animals that are perfectly designed for survival in the wild. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible animals, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay tuned for more amazing scientifically backed facts about the natural world. Until next time remember, the world is full of wonders waiting for you to discover.